to another commentary done by Diggity. This time we're going to be on Allegro Oblivion starting the bottom right-hand corner as the purple Zerg bottom left-hand corner. We have Scion again starting as the green Zerg. <laughs> so previous match. feel like I uh, still got kind of like, I guess in this day, in this case, they'll say vaccine brain. Not a lot of gas mining that entire time. Scion giving the very manner good luck, have fun out there. I'm wondering if we're going to see another 9 pool versus uh, over pool or 12 pool play. Larger macro map, larger distances. Uh, I feel like Zerglings. I feel like this is a... I don't know what the um, size of a map... I wonder how much that adjusts. Because two-player maps, I, I can see where that would... I mean, that changes... You can't go 12 hatch anymore. You can sneak a 12 hatch on a four-player map. It's just challenging. And it's risky. Look at that mech. Where's that unit in StarCraft? Overlord making its way bottom right. Initial scout will be in Scion's favor in that regard. Looks like... A drone being sent out. A cancellation right there of the Overlord. And, and like I was saying, you can sometimes sneak 12 hatches. It looks like Oblivion going to go for a 12 hatch bottom right. Unfortunately, very likely going to pay for it. Because the Overlord just now scooting into vision range. This will be in plenty of time to put down an earlier pool. Well, never mind. It's going to be 12 hatch opposite side. Or sorry, this was a... Uh, I take it back. Wow, this is COVID brain. Except they didn't have COVID. Nine, nine hatch on this side. That should be recognized. So nine hatch versus 12 hatch. Oblivion will be at a disadvantage economically with this. In a... To the count of two drones. So it looks like he does have another build order there. I think by the time this, and this is one of those little tidbits I don't know as a pure commentator, how long is it going to take the Overlord to get over here? And is it going to see that hatchery finish so much earlier to get recognized? This Overlord going to find nothing top right, so very much going to be in the dark. And I assume Oblivion just going to play more defensively. Having gone for the uh, faster hatch build, it's still going to require some Zerglings. Zergling production off the bat. To defend. So we're seeing... This is the one nice thing about this versus other early pool builds is you get the, you get a few more Zerglings out and that larva to work with. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm trying to remember the last time I saw a 12 hatch versus a 9 hatch. And I can't remember how it played out. Creep Colony being dropped on the front for Scion. Eight Zerglings making their way across. They will be great, greeted by eight Zerglings on the opposite side. I think Scion dropping the Sentinel Colony because I think he recognized the Nine Hatch, and I believe he knows if he just holds here <coughs> that he will end up ahead. Zergling speed being upgraded on this side, on Scion's side as well. Zerglings grouping up. I don't know if they... Did they see that Sentinel Colony? I don't see any damage, so they're just going to group up in large numbers. And we'll see if there there are Zerglings being piled on for a Scion, but these Zerglings here at the natural remaining, or the larva there, remaining silent. Full control group. Two Zerglings going to scope things out. See the sunken. Oblivion not going to give up, just is going to reposition to the top. Now let's see if this sparks some additional Zergling production. Actually, take it back. Scion didn't, missed an Overlord is what happened there. So wasn't able to produce additional Zerglings. So Oblivion now going to have overwhelming amounts of Zerglings. Which very likely going to cost him the game. So yeah, not having that Overlord right there. Drones trying to group up, but they are not mining and losing their lives. Two additional Zerglings out, but this is going to be sufficient. Looks like there were some spawns at the natural. Right now, the drone count even, but keep in mind, this is a lot of lost mining time for Scion. So it looks like Oblivion and more Zerglings coming. Yeah, that's going to be GG. So Oblivion takes the game. And we'll continue along the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for, thanks for listening.